Do we know where the suspect is? Is he still in the home? Well, right now, that's not clear, but police think he is still inside the home, and they've tried several methods to get him out, including knocking down part of the second floor, but so far, no one is in custody. This all stems from a nasty breakup between Ricky Coley and his wife. According to the terms of their divorce, Coley was supposed to be out of his home in the 4,000 block of Forest Edge by today. His mother and brother in from North Carolina tried to take him down south. Instead, sources say he holed himself up in his room and fired a shot. His brother called 911. Gunfire could be heard around 8.30 a.m., then two other times this morning. Police say the suspect had a large stock of ammunition in his home. We're told Coley used to be in the military. Family members got out of the home before officers got to the scene last night, but police did hear a gunshot. Five officers responded, including 39-year-old Patrick O'Rourke, a father of four, thinking it was a suicide situation they were walking into. They called the suspect's name. No one answered. The officers were ambushed as they moved upstairs. Police say they never saw the suspect because he was shooting from behind his bedroom door. Officer O'Rourke was shot and killed. Some officers also suffered minor injuries. I'm looking for to, to help someone voice screaming like dying. The standoff is being handled by the Oakland County SWAT team. Since this all started, hundreds of rounds have been fired between the suspect and police. The Michigan State Police, FBI, and Homeland Security are assisting. Police have several methods of getting Coley out of his house, including robots, gas, and ramming an assault truck through the garage. And this is a live look from down the scene here along Pontiac Trail in West Bloomfield. This is the first time a West Bloomfield officer has been killed in the line of duty. We are still waiting to hear from police at this hour, a statement from police. But again, no one is in custody at this hour. Live in West Bloomfield, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News, Diana Joanne.